guys, this is Matthew at Cathedral. Today we're gonna to be showing you how to make great coffee with an AeroPress. To follow along with the video, these are the things you're gonna need. You're gonna need an AeroPress, paper filters to go along with that. These guys usually come with an AeroPress when you buy it. And then there's also some alternative filter options out there if you wanna go a metal filter or mesh filter to save some paper, that's great too. Also gonna to need a grinder to grind your coffee if you haven't done that already. A scale and a timer to follow along with what I'm doing as I do it in the video. And you're gonna need some boiling hot water. You don't need a gooseneck kettle for this recipe. It's gonna work really well either way, whether you have a gooseneck or just a regular tea kettle, um, you just need boiling water. And last thing we're gonna to need to follow along is a stir stick or a long spoon of some kind. Anything to get down into your AeroPress and stir as we brew. All right, that's everything we need. Let's move on to brewing. We're gonna start with 15 grams of ground coffee, ground medium coarse. So somewhere around where you would grind a French press if you have one of those that you use at home. Um, if not, just think of kind of the texture of breadcrumbs after you've cut through a slice of bread. That kind of like gritty, coarse, breadcrumby texture, that's what we're going for. Now before we go ahead and brew, we want to do two things. We want to preheat our AeroPress, and then we want to rinse our filters. And that does two things. The preheating, just make sure that the actual AeroPress plastic doesn't steal all the heat out of our brew when we actually brew in it, so we want to warm it up. And the filters are going to taste like paper in the cup unless we rinse them out with some hot water and get rid of that papery taste. So we're going to do those two things, and then we're ready to brew. Two filters go straight into the lid. All right, so we got our coffee, our brewer is all heated up and ready to go. We got some boiling water, and we've got our scale and our timer. So from there, we can go ahead and take the coffee and just throw it right into the bottom of the AeroPress. We're gonna brew with it upside down, kind of like this. It's, it was originally designed to be brewed right side up with the bottom part in the cup. Um, but we're gonna use this inverted method, so you can go ahead and put the plunger in the bottom. That's just gonna go right on our scale. Remember to tear the scale once your coffee is in there. And then we can go ahead and pour our boiling water straight into our AeroPress with the coffee. So. We're gonna hit start on our timer, and we're gonna pour 225 grams right into our coffee. Once we hit 225 grams, we're gonna go ahead and take our little stir stick or our spoon and just give it a nice vigorous stir all the way to the bottom. This is to make sure that all of the grounds get wet as soon as possible so we can start brewing everything at the same time. From there, we're gonna let it sit for four minutes undisturbed. Without even touching it, we're just gonna leave it there for four minutes. All right, when our timer hits four minutes, we're ready to finish the brew. We're gonna take our stir stick or our spoon and just reach in there and give it a nice stir to let all the ground settle down into the brew. And then from there, you can go ahead and just throw the lid on there with our filters. Twist that on nice and tight, and then just take your cup, throw that on top, flip it over and press down into our cup. From there, you're all done. Thanks so much for watching, you guys. I hope you're doing well. Stay safe out there. Look on our Instagram, social media. We're gonna be posting when we'll be reopening here pretty soon. So just stay tuned for that. Hope to see you soon. Peace.